Hi guys, we Bob here, and I'm going to talk about Sketchbook Pro. Uh, I've decided to try this out. It was $19.99, $19.99, I guess. In UK, that's about £17, £16 or £17 it cost me. And I was just trying it because I want to move away from using Photoshop. So this is my top three things about Autodesk Sketchbook that I think does better than Photoshop straight out of the box. And number one is the layout. Um, I found Photoshop quite difficult to set up properly whenever my workspace ready. Um, it then kind of gets shifted around for no reason and you could save your workspace and stuff like that. But in Autodesk, I mean, moving these uh, panels around is so easy. You can just stick them where you like and you can close them, you can bring them back up, you can do different things. Um, you can totally customise it, similar to Photoshop, but I just like to stay the box. It just felt like a bigger canvas area to me. And I mean, you can just resize things dead easy. So yeah, number one would be the layout. Um, so simple, so simple to change nice and big area to draw in um, on my screen tablet which I've shown in some of my other videos. So the second thing I would like to draw straight lines and be nice to draw straight lines in Photoshop that were easy to do but what I tended to find is between two points you would get a th kind of thick end and a, a kind of lighter end and if you didn't want that you had to keep going in and changing brushes. I really like the rulers on Autodesk Sketchbook. I mean, they are so easy to use, so easy to move around. I mean, you're literally just, there's a line there. Okay, I want a line up here that's at the same angle. I've now got two lines. If I wanted them, I would just make it slightly perspective and turn it. Again, it's just, it's so simple to use. It's such an easy user interface that I really like it. I mean, for the money, it's crazy that you pay for Photoshop every month. I mean, you're basically paying one month of Photoshop to buy this full package. So one of the other things I really like is this two point perspective here and you can get one point, two point, three point, four point making the kind of fisheye look. So if we went with like a one point perspective, we set our vanishing point which is this dot here and then your cursor automatically goes to that vanishing point which makes it super easy just to draw a kind of structure um, with one single vanishing point. You can then change it to two vanishing points if you want. I've got a two point vanishing point here. So if I wanted to do a structure that's kind of coming towards us, and obviously you can do that as well on the other side with it vanishing away. Just so easy to use the rulers, the vanishing points. Eh, I love it so far. We've got a mirror here, so you can mirror. If I turn off the, the ruler, you can see. Uh, I, I just love it to be honest it's it's so good for the money I paid for this and um, compared to Photoshop absolutely brilliant turn off the mirror tool so the rulers in Autodesk are amazing sketchbook compared to Photoshop much prefer Autodesk it is so intuitive so easy to use and that goes for the brushes as well in Photoshop you've kind of got these generic icons whereas here I've got different icons that I can apply to different brushes and I can totally manipulate the brushes to whatever way I want to be but straight out of the box you've got this kind of basic pencil which responds to pressure as well you've got an airbrush which as you can see is an airbrush you've got a kind of felt tip it tells you here a marker that looks pretty good to me obviously color you can just change the colors to whatever you want them to be it's just really cool so you've got this chisel tip pencil, which is great for, I mean, for doing kind of calligraphy as well. Um, so let's just use the word love. So yeah, I just, I, I really like it. It's even good for drawing different things. The razors are super easy to use. And there's also this kind of half opacity um, eraser, which lets you kind of take away parts of it, which can be great for doing highlights yeah so yeah just uh, there's so many things here i mean that's me i'm talking about three top tips here and i've went through various things but the first one being the layout the second one being the rulers the third one being these default brushes and erasers and the fourth one being the money yeah and the other way around so yeah it's just brilliant so um, 
in the background I will be putting a time lapse of my first drawing. It's a trial, I was just trying out all the different brushes, trying to figure out how to do similar techniques to that that I've learned in Photoshop, but I can definitely see me using this program on a very regular basis. Such a great program to use, so definitely worth checking out, definitely worth considering getting it if it's interesting to you. I mean there's even, I, I'm going to do some tutorials, but there's a whole bunch of tools here I've not even talked about. The brushes, the settings, there's these different icons that you can, so you don't actually need most of this stuff because most of that can be accessed through this, I think they call it the Lagoon toolbar, which basically means you can get rid of and have just of the full space to yourself. It's just a lovely program. So, hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, I'm sorry I've not been around much, I have been wild camping. Let me know in the comments what you think of this program, if you use it what program you maybe use because I also use Clip Studio on occasion which is also a good program and if you want to and you like this content please to remember to like subscribe and hit the wee bell notification because I produce videos meant to be on every week basis but yeah, I try my best.